Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how to collect information from a Google form and then post that contact information into Follow Boss and then also how to automate an action plan for that lead. A couple of use cases for this are one, if you do open houses, you host open houses and you want a free tool to collect information, contact details and questions and answers, you can post that to Follow Boss or and then if you want to automate an action plan to those leads another use case is a questionnaire so if you have a vip client who has referred you a lot of business and you want to start sending them gifts you can collect details of their favorite hobbies their favorite restaurants and that sort of thing and push that information over to follow boss that way you can quickly see that and have that information for when you want to send them another gift or maybe you just send gifts to all your past clients and you send that questionnaire out so you have an idea of what they will actually find value in versus just guessing and creating a random gift for them. So I'm going to show you the open house one first and then I will show you the questionnaire. So this is done in a Google form. I'm in Google Drive. It's free as long as you have a Google account. And then you'll click on creating a new Google form. So first let's do the open house. I'm going to call this 123 Main Street Open House. And then the title auto populates here. Something like, thank you for visiting the open house today. The homeowner has requested for all um, attendees to sign in for security reasons. Something like that. That's what I've heard people say often they do. So the first question we will do is uh, name and we will make and then auto updates to a short answer so they can type it in. I'm going to click required. I'll go ahead and click duplicate. It's the easiest way to ask a question. I'll make this email address. I'll make this phone number. Uh, you can ask a couple other questions like do you have an agent or maybe you want to get more specific. Do you have a signed agreement with an agent? And then I'm going to do multiple choice, yes or no. And then um, do you have a home to sell, yes or no. And you can, uh, you can certainly add another one like, when are you looking to move? And you can select like ASAP. One to three months, three to six months, six plus months, or just looking. But I'd be uh, careful of asking too many questions. This is probably the max I would do, or else people get upset. Um, so now that you've created the form, next you want to be able to collect responses. So I'm going to click the responses tab and I'm going to click to link to sheets and it's going to create a Google sheet and I'll click, click create. And now it's going to open up the Google sheet. It'll have a timestamp for the, pe the person's name, email, phone number. And what's nice is you can quickly duplicate this form for your next open house. You'll click the three dots in the upper right corner and click make a copy and then just rename the form with a new address. So that way it's um, very clean of who's filling out what form and where they're coming from. So now that you've created the form and you've um, collected responses, you'll want to double check settings to ensure that you um, don't restrict it. it. This is a default setting if you have a Google Workspace account. Don't restrict the, um, the ability of people to um, sign in only to key technology. So I'm gonna uncheck that. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and fill out the, um, fill out the form as a test lead. Okay, let's see, send, okay. This is what we need to do. I'm going to shorten the URL. Copy. Let me fill this out as a test lead in a an incognito window. So let's try this again. Submit. Okay. 
So now that I have submitted test information, I'm able to pull that for uh, follow boss. So the next thing you want to do is go to Zapier and uh, create account. You can do this with a free account. And once you create your account, you'll be taken to this page. Go ahead and click on create zap. The trigger will be in Google Sheets when there is a new or updated row or in your case, a new entry from an open house sign in. And then I'm going to click continue. I'm going to log into my Google account. I've already done that. So I'm just going to select the one I've already connected. I'm going to select the spreadsheet it's going to pull from. It automatically shows you the most recent spreadsheet you've created. So I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to choose the worksheet, which is just saying this one. If there were multiple tabs here, then it would ask, do you want this one or this one? So just default to the one they show you. Uh, and it's going to trigger with any column is added and then click test. And it should pull the dummy information I just did. Yep. The dummy information. So continue with selected record. Next, what you want to do is select fo uh, in follow up boss to do an action. The event would be a new inquiry. Click continue. Choose an account. I've already connected mine, but if you have not, you'll want to follow the instructions for connecting your follow boss account. Then click continue. Then action is pushing the lead over. So I'm going to do property inquiry. Message means the note that's get, that gets posted with the lead. So I'm going to say new open house lead. And then I'm also going to post the questions and answers uh, in the notes for quick viewing. So I'm going to type in home to sell and then click the bubble to show their answer. Have agent, click the bubble. Um, time frame, space, click the bubble. Okay. Then let's um, pull the name. Full name, you can put full name here and just skip last name. Email address is this dummy email. Phone number is this dummy phone number. Source, I'll just say open house. That's the source name that pushes over to follow up boss. Otherwise, if this isn't filled in, it says unspecified. Leave this information alone. Tag, you can do, do cool things with tags. Um, if someone says they have a home to sell, you can um, pull over that yes, and then just know that if someone tag comes in tagged yes, um, then they'll receive a different drip if you want to, or they'll get assigned to someone, well, probably not assigned to someone else, uh, but if you wanna like trigger a different action plan, if you wanna get granular and say, if someone says yes, they have a home to sell, then send this action plan, but if someone says no, then don't. You can also, uh, if I edit the fields to say, to be more specific, to say, yes, I have an agent. No, I don't have an agent. Then you can also use this yes or no as well in tags. So this would be the entire tag that's added. Uh, I can't show you in this one since I just made the update, but if you wanted to use both tags for home to sell or has agent and push that info into a tag, you can then know like which one was a yes and which one was a no for which question. Because if you just did like um, a yes tag and they um, just said yes or no, you don't know which question they're answering and can't um, automate lead flows. So let's scroll down. Uh, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down to the property they are coming from here. Uh, type of property. Let's see, did I skip? Oh, here we go. Listing property. So this is the street address of the property they're being viewed or inquired about. So they are attending 123 Main Street. And I'll put a fake city state and a fake zip code. You can put MLS number or price if you like, but I'll just do that for now. Click continue, and when I click test, that lead should go over to follow a boss. So let's see if it works. Let's see. 
Yep, it did. The dummy went over to follow boss and you'll see that the phone number, email, the tag I selected, and the question answer went over to follow boss. So, um, and then at that point, what you can do now that a new lead flow is created is assign an open house action plan. So the one I've created uh, uses an inquiry address merge field. And one thing I forgot to mention in this action tab here is you can also put a link to the listing here on your website. And then what's cool is, so in the in the text that auto sends, it will it can pull the inquiry address, which would be one two three Main Street. And then in the email, you can also do that, but then also uh, use this merge field called inquiry address preview, and then it will sh uh, automatically put in the link to the listing. And so uh, for each new open house, you do want to create a different zap and different form, or you can use the same form and same zap and just edit the information in the zap. So, and then uh, in follow up boss under admin lead flow, you can create advanced settings to say if the lead comes in tagged as yes, I have an agent, then do this thing. But if uh, add another rule to say if they say yes, I have a home to sell, then do this thing. So you can do cool things when you're pushing tags to follow boss to get more granular with the uh, lead assignment as well as the action plan the person receives. So now I'm going to do the same thing except for a client questionnaire. So before you do, you want to create custom fields. Uh, you can only create custom fields in an owner account. So under admin custom fields, you'll click the add custom field button. I've already created these in preparation for this video, but you can pull, plug in like birthday, favorite restaurant, favorite store, favorite hobby, favorite snacks, and so on. And I think I've already created this questionnaire. Let me see so I don't reinvent the wheel here, but you follow the same steps. Yeah, VIP client. Uh, I use this for my own personal business, even though I'm not a real estate agent. So I collect their name, their email, their mailing address, their favorite restaurant, their favorite store. Um, I decided to not ask favorite hobby, but you can add that one in. So let's go over to Zapier now that that form is created. Let's create a new one. Oh, and be sure to turn on that SAP. So once you do the testing and push a test lead, you want to um, you want to publish. Click this publish bottom, uh, button on the bottom and name the SAP. So open house lead to follow up boss. You could do something like that. Now let's create a zap for VIP client questionnaire. So I'm going to call this VIP client questionnaire. I'm sure I pronounced, I spelled that wrong. So the same thing, the trigger will be a new row added to a Google sheet. Click continue, choose an account. Let's do Elena key technology, continue spreadsheet. I'm going to pull from VIP questionnaire. And then I'm gonna pull from the form, click continue, test trigger. I think I pushed over a test leader. I think I, yeah, I actually have a person. Um, and then let's go to follow up boss. In follow up boss, I'm going to select the event as um, new, I'll do new inquiry or a website event. Click continue, choose my follow up boss account. Then it takes a bit and click continue. Event type is, I'll just do registration. Um, client filled out client questionnaire. And then from here, you'll put in the name, the email, the phone number, um, the source is questionnaire, um, and so on. And so, uh, if follow up boss uh, has the same email address or phone number for this person that they're filling out in the form, follow up boss will just update the existing record. But if follow up boss does not and uh, a new lead is created, then you'll need to find the original file and merge the people together. I usually like to push a tag through for the people that follow up boss just updates their existing record so I can trigger an action plan that alerts me that they filled out the questionnaire. So I'll just do, uh, I'm spelling this wrong. Okay, there we go. Uh, so here I'll put in their mailing address and then the custom fields. 
The custom fields will be the answers they provided. So I ask for favorite store, for um, favorite restaurant. So I'm going to select to make that corresponding connection to say, uh, where is that question? Favorite store. And then their answer for favorite store. And then, um, and then favorite restaurant is the name of the custom field. So I'm going to pull favorite restaurant and so on. And then you'll click continue and then you'll click test. And then from that point, um, a person would either be updated in follow boss or a new person would be created. So then let me go into blur mode really quick and show you an example of what it looks like. Let's pull up Shay's. So whenever her client questionnaire originally came in, I pulled her favorite restaurant and her favorite store. And I think I also tagged her something. Yeah, completed questionnaire from Zapier. So that way I could create an automation is still in here uh, an automation for when that tag is added I start an action plan and that action plan I think is just um, this is for an existing person so I have different steps here to say um, like uh, send first gift double check a, a duplicate was not created and then I also my sources are blurred but let me fix that. If I go to lead flow, I think it's archived. Yeah, client questionnaire. So if a new lead was created, I uh, make sure that that action plan gets applied. And then uh, that way I can merge the people together. Uh, so to recap, you can push any type of form in uh, follow up boss, I the specific examples I showed you was for open house and for a VIP client questionnaire, but you can do all sorts of things with Google Forms. And the nice thing is Google Forms is free with a Google account and Zapier is free up to 100, what they call tasks a month, which really in your case would be 100 forms filled out a month.